Good morning everybody, my name is Falcon and you are watching Biology's Concepts. So today we are going to discuss about uh, reproduction in gymnosperms. Okay, so, so firstly we are going to understand how many types of reproduction are there. There are actually two types of reproduction present in gymnosperms. One is vegetative reproduction and second is uh, sexual reproduction. So vegetative reproduction is very rare in gymnosperms. Uh, uh, most basically it has been uh, known that uh, vegetative reproduction is uh, found in uh, species uh, cycas okay uh, some species of cycas okay so uh, what kind of vegetative reproduction ha have been seen in this uh, cycas okay the, that uh, is bulbils okay uh, bulbils are the type of an uh, vegetative reproduction which has been seen in the Psychus. If you ask me what is actually vegetative reproduction, so it is nothing but if uh, if the plant body, if the, some part of a plant body, okay, get divided and that particular divided part get uh, organized and it uh, by consuming by consuming all the nutrients from the surroundings, it will develop into a new sporophyte. That is the method of the reproduction, vegetative reproduction. Okay, so that was all about the vegetative reproduction. Now let us understand about the sexual reproduction. Uh, how does it occur? Okay, so to perform the sexual reproduction in uh, gymnosperms, uh, we need to have the sexual organs. Okay, so these sexual organs. Okay, so. What are the, those sexual organs in the gymnosperms? Uh, sexual organs are in the form of uh, strobili, okay, or cones. In better way, we can say reproductive cones. Reproductive cones, okay. These are the this these uh, strobili or cones will act as in reproductive organs in the gymnosperms. The spores, the spores in the gymnosperms are uh, heterosporous. Heterosporous. So what does it mean? What what is the meaning of heterosporous? Heterosporous is nothing but uh, in this gymnosperms uh, there is a two different uh, kinds of uh, spores are just formed that is the reason why it is called as an heterosporous if there would be uh, some similar kinds of or a same kinds of spore get formed in the uh, gymnosperm then it would be said as uh, homosporous but in the case of but in the in this case uh, we are getting two different kinds of uh, sexual spores that is the reason why uh, we, uh, we are saying it as uh, heterosporous okay so also another point we got in the gymnosperms is uh, gymnosperms uh, are uh, maybe monoecious maybe monoecious or dioecious okay so what is the meaning of monoecious actually we need to understand so monoecious means uh, both the sex organ both the male and sex organ are uh, male and female sex organ are present in a single sporophyte okay but in the case of uh, <coughs> sorry in the case of dioecious uh, both the male and female uh, uh, organs or sex organs are present in two different uh, uh, respective uh, sporophyte okay that is the main uh, difference between the mono mono monoecious and the dioecious okay so now let us discuss something about the cones okay so cones Cones are basically two types. Okay, cones are. Make sure you note that cones are the reproductive organs of the gymnosperms. Okay, so cones are basically two types: male cone or cones, you can say, female cone. Okay, these two types of cones are present in the uh, reproductive uh, cones. They are called as okay. So male cones uh, contains. Uh, micro sporophylls okay so female cone contains mega sporophylls these this 
female fertile leaf contain megasporangia okay so male uh, simultaneously male fertile leaf contain microsporangia microsporangia so in other words megasporangia is known as ovules ovules okay because microsporo uh, sporophylls are the leaf of the male cones right so in the in the in the lower side of the microsporophylls there is a presence of microsporangia in the same way female cones also have the fertile leaves okay those uh, leaves are called as an uh, megasporophylls okay in the upper end upper end of a megasporophyll there is a presence of megasporangia okay that is the position of a megasporangia and a microsporangia in the male cones and female cones or you can say fertile leaves like microsporangia microsporophylls and uh, megasporophylls okay so now if we'll discuss about the structure of an uh, ovules uh, so here something it is like this okay so the structure the outer layer of uh, ovules are called as an integuments okay in to the integuments we have the nucleus okay so in to the nucleus we have a single functional egg okay which uh, takes part which takes part in the reproduction okay these microsporangia is develop is a uh, present in a group so each group is called as an sorry okay so this is all about the position and the um, microsporang about the microsporangia basically this is the part one of the reproduction in the gymnosperms in this part we have discussed about the microsporangia and megasporangia microsporophylls megasporophylls and about the male cone and female cone and many more stuff right so in the coming video we're going to discuss about uh, uh, about the gametophytic uh, generation and the sporophyte or or uh, in other words we can say we're going to discuss about the uh, gametophytic and uh, embryogeny which is very important part of the reproduction in the gymnosperms also was that video to completely understand about the reproduction in the gymnosperms so finally have a nice day thank you